Hello dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to our channel. Wishing you all a wonderful day. Something dark is approaching as the candles are lit. Demons are unleashed, conflicts erupt, a firestorm. In these days, those who follow Christ should close their windows, avoid opening their doors, and refrain from peeking out of their homes. All types of light will not work except for the candles that have been blessed for over a century. Christians worldwide have faced troubles due to the prophecy of three days of darkness, especially Catholics. But unlike previous times, it seems this prophecy is about to become reality based on the current chaotic circumstances. Type the phrase, Padre Pio, protect us, as advised by mystics and saints. According to the prophecy, the entire earth will be enveloped in dense darkness for three days before the return of Christ. For this reason, many believers have prepared themselves, stocking up on food, blessed candles, and adhesive tape to seal their windows. The French woman Marie-Julie Jahan, considered by many to be the most important mystic in the history of the church, had this terrifying vision. Several mystics and saints of the church have described similar images of those dreadful days. Among all the names mentioned, Padre Pio and Sister Marie-Julie Jehan are undoubtedly the most famous and respected. General, I want you to hear this alarming vision of the upcoming three days of darkness, during which the earth will turn into a vast cemetery. But getting acquainted with Marie, or known as Brittany, is important to understand the prophecy. Marie was born in 1889 in a humble and devout family of five siblings in the small village of Brittany, France. She stood out from a young age for her intense devotion. During her first communion, she received her first graces and responded with even more fervor. She bore the stigmata for over 60 years, clearly marking the wounds of Christ on her body. Five wounds on her hands and feet, scars from the crown of thorns, cuts, and wounds from the weight of the cross on her arms. It seemed even the remaining ropes that bound our Lord appeared on her. According to Padre Pio, a mysterious epidemic that has recently emerged is surprising everyone. There will be numerous deaths, earthquakes, storms, and international conflicts. If you want protection and salvation for your life, Padre Pio says you should be prepared with a powerful prayer. You should purchase the ebook, The Power of Padre Pio. This ebook contains prayers for every situation. Click on the link in the first fixed comment to receive The Power of Padre Pio and start living a supernaturally protected life now. Units might run out today. Marie Julie Jehan often saw the Virgin Mary and Jesus, besides having the gift of prophecy and performing miracles. The French nun experienced many visions in which the Virgin Mary described the horrifying three days of darkness, during which the forces of hell would be unleashed to destroy God's enemies. These visions occurred gradually over time, not sequentially. These images are truly alarming, so it's important to pay attention to what they include. A great catastrophe will erupt suddenly, and the scent of punishment will spread universally. Following consecutively, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the three days of darkness will fall on the same day as the solemn feast of the Eucharist, the cross, and the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Hell will be unleashed, and darkness will engulf the earth for three days, except for one night. Those who do not believe and trust in my authority will die of horror at this terrifying, thundering moment. Three dreadful days in darkness. Windows should never be opened, because no one will be able to see the earth during these days, or the terrifying colors it will take on. It's a punishment that doesn't lead to immediate death. The earth will melt and fire will engulf the sky. It's recommended to light one lucky candle for each location during these three days of darkness. There will be no other source of light. Those who leave their shelters will not return. Fear and horror will prevail in this dreadful darkness and the earth will tremble as if experiencing an earthquake. Light will only come from candles made of consecrated wax. All you need to get through this horrifying darkness is a single candle. These candles will not shine in homes full of the wicked and evil. At that moment, everything will tremble except for the furniture where the blessed candle is lit, which will remain still. There will be enough people gathered around the holy statue and cross to keep us safe from this horror. Demons and evil spirits will take on disgusting forms in this darkness. Clouds as red as blood will float in the sky. The earth will tremble with thunder. 
and the sky will be torn apart by lightning bolts. Until the sea rises and its fierce waves invade the continents, the earth will tremble. The bodies of the wicked and unjust will lie scattered across the planet like a vast cemetery. Half of the population of France will be wiped out, and three turret four of the world's population will vanish. Dear friend, as you'll see in Isaiah 5.30, Matthew 24.29, and Revelation 6.12, the Bible does indeed refer to days of deep darkness and the terrible tribulation that occurs before the end times and the glorious appearance of Christ. It's important to remember that everyone's interpretations of prophecies and visions are unique and subjective. It's important to consider Sister Marie Julie Jahan's vision with caution and discernment, although it may be considered an expression of her faith and dedication. Regarding preparation for possible future events, such as the three days of darkness mentioned in the prophecy, it's necessary to strengthen our faith, deepen our connection with God, and live according to Christian principles. This requires dedicating time to prayer, seeking forgiveness for transgressions, and nurturing love for others. We're also here to support each other in prayer. We offer our prayers to God in this moment of prayer, acknowledging our humility and recognizing our frailty before heaven's designs. O oh God, we pray for your light to illuminate our paths and strengthen our faith during this uncertain and dark time in the world. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the signs of the times and the courage to face the challenges we are currently facing. We want to make a special request to you, O Lord. We pray for your grace upon all those who are striving to prepare themselves for the dark days ahead. May your grace illuminate their minds and hearts to help them discern the path of truth and redemption. O oh God, we especially pray for your protection and support for those who are preparing to receive blessed candles. May these candles serve as symbols of your caring presence and surveillance in their lives, beyond being actual sources of light. O oh God, inspire those who have not yet realized the importance of this preparation. May they recognize the spiritual reality that surrounds them and take appropriate actions to prepare for what is to come. O oh God, we ask for the intercession of Saint Padre Pio, who has taught us so much about the value of prayer, faith, and trust in you. May he support us during this difficult time, strengthen our faith, and guide us toward salvation. O oh God, may your will govern all our actions, and may we cling to the hope of your infinite mercy and love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it to receive notifications when there's a new video. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. God bless you. Amen.